All right, guys, today we're going to do a gameplay with the Dallas Cowboys offensive playbook, and this is going to be San Francisco 49ers on defense, as usual. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys offensive playbook, I'm probably going to cop out a little bit. To be honest, I'll probably run bunch out of it. Um, I, I don't know that I love much anything else out of it. It's an okay playbook. Even the bunch is a mediocre bunch. Uh, it's decent. It's got flood. It's got verticals, obviously. I think it has bunch trail. Um, so it, it's got everything that you probably need to get the job done, but it's it's still going to be the Cowboys bunch, so it's not going to be the best bunch in the game, and not going to be the worst. I'm just going to adjust my camera here. There we go. Um, and then on defense, in all likelihood, we'll run dollar, uh, depending a little bit on what our opponent is doing. I'm just noticing right now that uh, our opponent didn't have an ability on their kicker, so I don't know what that's about. Um... Maybe they forgot to set their abilities, or maybe that's just how they play. No ability on their kicker. Let's run normal bunch, though. And let's put Y curl in there. Z spot is fine. And then maybe we just come out in. Uh, oh, we have trail, too. Uh, I was going to run bunch trail, but we have to play trail also, which is really good. Um, cover four here, maybe? We're just going to go to verticals. Might have just audible demand. I don't know. We're going to just snap it anyway. We got the quick throw. We're going to take it. So that quick throw is super annoying um, because it's something that in all likelihood your opponent's not going to be ready for. We're going to come out and trail this time. Um, I don't know if that was match or if he's just running a cover four. He might just be running a cover four. Um, so I'm going to go for a match bomb just in case he is running match. But again, I don't think he is. So we'll see. He, in fact, is not. So we're just going to throw it away. But just wanted to check. So it's a standard cover four. If it was a cover four match, we would have had a one-play touchdown there. So interesting that he's not running match out of that. Uh, kind of tells me that he's probably not somebody who's comfortable running match, which, cool, that's just fine, too. Uh, we're just going to run a combo like this, see if he's in man or match. Doesn't really matter. We're going to have RB here on the sideline. Easy dot. Nice yards. Moving the ball down the field. Again, bunch is going to be good every year. It just will be. Now, here I just have to test his run game. Like, I can't not test his run his run defense here. If, if you're going to spread out and do that, and we've got CJ 2K in the backfield... There, there's no reason why we wouldn't say, all right, prove you can stop the run out of that defense. Uh, I think that was, it might even have been quarters. I don't know if that was dollar or dime. I don't know what that was. He's back in it, though. Um, screw it. I don't even care. We're going to run it anyway. So hard flats or not, that's really what we're looking for here. And then I'm just going to put RB in a corner out. Uh, does he have hard flats? He does not. Oh, he might have had hard flats there. Made the wrong read. Should have hung on to it and thrown the corner out for a touchdown. Uh, we will go to... I'm going to go to Flood again. Just see if he's got... He's in cover four again. So I like this play call. Should just be a touchdown. Down with the one. All right. And here, I think... They do have an 0-1 trap in there. Yep, they do. 0-1 trap in their trips tight end offset. Actually, it looks like a defense where it might be better to just run an inside zone. What do we have for abilities here? One inside stuff. Yeah, one inside stuff. Do we have an inside zone? I'm just going to call timeout here. I think we have an inside zone in there. Yeah, we do. The RPO, RPO alert bubble. But he just has one inside stuff, so I might just run an inside zone if he's going to line his defense so far to the right like that. See what he comes out in. It's like the same exact thing. So, yeah, we're going to go inside zone here. We're going to double team the nose tackle. And again, if you guys don't know, you double team the nose tackle. It typically takes away the inside stuff's ability to actually light up. And he ran commit, of course. I didn't throw the RPO for I don't know what reason. Wasn't even thinking that I would need to. We'll literally run the same exact play here. Again, I'm going to double team the nose tackle. And he is going to have to 
stop this with a run commit. Oh, he actually stopped it. Look at that. Maybe we'll actually run the O1 trap. I don't know. He's ready for the... He's like manually playing the RPO. Here we go. And we get in. Barely. But we do get in. I think he ran commit there again. But CJ gets in. Falls forward with his X Factor. If we didn't have the X Factor there, we don't get in for sure. Cool. Seven nothing. Now on defense, I'm kind of torn. Do we do we run something weird? Do we run like even six one for a little bit? Do we run dollar still? Um, I don't think dollar is gonna. I, I could be wrong. I say this every year and I'm wrong about it. But I don't think dollar is gonna be meta in Madden 24. But I'm sure somebody will figure out a way to make those edge rushers just always come in. Uh, it feels like it's happened for the last three years. We've had dollar as part of the meta, so I guess I just wouldn't be shocked. That ball is going to sit. I missed him. I tried to get the safety. But we're good. So maybe we run a little bit of nickel over. Maybe we run a little even 6-1. He's running bunch. Um, so, I mean, dollar is just the answer to that. It just is. Run something like this. Shade it down. My ball. And 14 nothing. Good start to this gameplay. Nice little drive in. I mean, couldn't have played that any better. It's just, you literally ran stock verticals there. I think he put a Texas route on his running back, and we just usered both the running back and the crossing route quite easily. And 14 nothing. So if you're gonna run dollar, um, or if you're gonna run bunch, you gotta be, you gotta have an answer for dollar. And verticals is good, but you don't want to make the user's life easier. It's actually more challenging to do something like put that running back on a wheel route, you know, like force the force the defender to, or the person playing defense to man up that running back or make a lot of quick adjustments out of it. Bunch is really good because of the quick snap ability out of it. It's not. It's not just about the route combinations out of it. The quick snap is really, really good. So he's taken a long time to actually snap the football, which good for him. Uh, and I just, I don't know how I didn't get to that. Like, it's literally just stock verts every time. Single back doubles off close, huh? Run something like this. That should be perfectly played. It's not open. Pick. Threw it right at our bird hook. So let's let's see if we can't run something different here. We're gonna run short side bunch. Let's see if he stays in his cover four defense here. So he's in that cover three defense now, trying to send pressure. So we're gonna go to Y curl. We're literally just looking for the seam to be have it, and he just barely got there in time, just barely. But that's our read. To be quite honest, we're just literally looking when we run short side bunch. We've got the Y curl play that's a perfect cover three beater. It's gonna stay in it. Now we're gonna run stock verticals. He's got nobody in the flat. We'll take our nice yards, take that to the second quarter. And again, the quick snap, you want to move. Like, bunch is really good, but it's really good because you can make quick 
play calls, quick adjustments out of it, and you can just keep your opponent, you know, kind of off guard. So, like right here, I'm making two adjustments. I'd love to get away with one. And then we just got this corner out wide open. He's just going to run stock cover three or stock cover four all game. I mean, this isn't going to be a problem. Do we have anything out of pistol or... Actually, do we have bunch tight end or something? No, it doesn't look like it. Just regular bunch. Um, maybe we'll run dig return down here, something like that. I don't know. Cover four. Maybe this works. I don't know if he sends pressure or not here. He does not. Played that really well with his user. We're just gonna throw it away. Could have run verticals and it would have just been a touchdown, but I would run just something different. Ooh, do we have, ha ha, we've got an end around. Let's run an end around. Why not? Oh, I thought we were giving it to Cup. I didn't even know I had the ball. That's that's how well I know that. So that's that's cool. All right, let's go to Flood. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I totally messed that up. All right, he's in cover four again. Um, I think I'm gonna run the hitch concept on this. The smart route B, and then. Wheel route Y, and then put X on an out route, something like this. Oh no, no. Good D. I tried to fit it in there. Needed another route to push it down the field. Not too worried. Bunch again. He is, he's committed. See if we get a wheel route by the running back or something like that this time. I'm going to start bringing down safeties if he's just going to run verticals every time. Oh, didn't run vertical. Oh my gosh, what a terrible user by me. He literally threw it right at me. And he's looking for that deep play again. Same, literally the same route combination he ran last time. Still not open. Runs with Brady. I'm just going to assume you're going to pass. Oh, I went off of him. I didn't think there's any... He's throwing right at me. I mean, he's just daring me to pick off the ball. I thought he was going to come down and throw to the underneath route, but no, he just throws to the guy that I'm literally on. Unbelievable. Outsmarting myself out here. We're just going to send five. It's going to be the dollar send five a thon here. Oh, gun tight though. Maybe not. We'll still send five. Ooh, we'd really like that. To bring those guys down, probably. to stay on, uh, see, then that time he throws it underneath. I was just literally about to say I'm going to stay on the tight end this time. Spread, interesting choice. Then you run out of it, okay. Cool. He has a touchdown. I didn't back off my guy and he missed it. Yeah, not gonna work this time. I'm gonna start calling timeouts. I'm sick of this. 
He's just running the ball to work down the clock. Actually thinks he's going to win this game. just going to say I would not be shocked to see another run here, but it's an RPO and it's another interception instead. And Brady somehow tackles Peppers. Cool. Alright, we're going to actually score here. We're going to try to do it quick. We're going for seven, not just a field goal. I'm going to come out and flood. I'm going to force him to play hard flat. So what do we have here? This is dollar. Um... Hmm. Hard flats? No hard flats. Cool. Six yards? That was DB fire. Okay. Uh, let's go to this. Let's see if you do that again. I think we got the same defense here. I'm going to try to actually pick it up. Picked it up. Nice yards. Moving down the field. I don't... I, do we have a play action out of this? I don't think we do. No. I might just quick snap bunch trail. He's back in his cover three. I'm going to flip. Didn't like it. His user was just a little too close to it for me. Quick snap verts. We're going to take the time out here. Preserve everything we can. Um, maybe a quick snap Y curl here. If he comes out in that cover three again. Looks like he is. I'm just going to have to take X over the middle. Try to get down. That's a good time here. Um, let's come out in trail. Cover four again. Where's his user gonna go? That's the million dollar question. Let's go to Z spot. It's something over the middle for his user to have to pay attention to, but we could be looking for the quick throw to A also. That's not open. Can we get in? We can. There we go. All right. His user just vacated. Uh, he ran to the corner out, so. I put that Texas route there to actually have him look at it, but he just decided not to, so we'll take the touchdown. All right, 21-0. It's a sizable lead going into the second half. Pretty happy about it. But again, Bunch, it, it's going to be good next year, too. Um, there are a lot of different versions of Bunch coming out, uh, which we're going to see even more Bunch in Madden 24. We just will. Uh, because they've they've taken Bunch X Nasty, the was just a single back formation and well you can probably guess what I'm about to say with that it's there's more bench bunch X more bunch X nasty than there was so that'll be a lot of fun um, I'm gonna stay in dollar here I gotta be worried about uh, just streak routes on the outside I just gotta be, make sure I back them off quickly enough just don't want to get beat by just a standard streak that should be knocked out yeah we're fine there same story here just got to make sure he gets backed off and we should be fine we're gonna keep sending five though Again, I'll put that guy in a deep zone too. Why not? 
Oh, I whiffed. All right, 21 nothing. Going in the second half. Feel good about our chances, not gonna lie. I think, um, let's talk a little bit about Madden 24 though. They released the new gameplay trailer today. And um, it wasn't really a trailer, it was actually Dez and Clef playing, which, um, you know, they're two of the best players in the world, but they were definitely running a lot of Madden 23 meta-ish type of stuff. Like they were running bunch, they were running tight um, on defense. Saw a little bit of everything on defense actually. Um, they, they tried even the, the blitz from the beginning of the year in Madden 23. I think LB blitz three or something like that. I can't remember what it was, um, but out of nickel three three. So the loop blitz doesn't work out of there any still, um, but I'm sure that we're gonna have blitzes very very soon uh, within the first day or two. I'm I'm certain of it. That we'll have plenty of new meta blitzes and they'll be all over WinMadden.com too. Uh, you guys will not be left out of those for sure. So let's go to something else. Let's just be weird about this a little bit. I'm going to come out in, where is it, that, and well, uh, I did that wrong. Um, let's come out and cover four. Let's just see if you can beat match defense, just stock match defense. You throw a pick on the first play. Cool. Nothing to it. Just stock cover four match. All right. Looks like he's going to be out of here, but Dallas Cowboys, um, not a great offensive playbook in Madden 23, I don't think. I have not played with their playbook in Madden 24. I don't know what it will be like, but um, overall, they're okay. They've got bunch. They've got a decent bunch, too. So if you're using the Cowboys playbook, there's probably nothing wrong with it, per se, but, you know, whatever. There's I think there's definitely different, different and better playbooks out there. But like always, get the heck out of here. See you next time.